What's going on guys? It's Thursday and I'm back to help you win another Forza Horizon 5 trial event. This week we're kicking off Series 27 American Automotive and the first trial event for this series is called Cars and Stripes. It is a road racing event for Mustangs or Camaros tuned to S1 spec. Car inside use is a 2020 Ford Mustang GT500, a tuna made Ford. I'll show it on screen right now. It is called Road Racing V2. I'll also show the share code. Now, being a Ford guy, naturally I'm going to pick the Mustang. I want nothing to do with driving a Camaro in these games, but a lot of people are probably going to use Camaro, so I tried to do my best to make a Mustang that would be competitive for this event and just S1 uh, road racing in general. I have some older tunes for this car, but they were made long, long ago. This is, I think, the one I updated one for today is going to be a lot better. The other ones might work okay, but I definitely recommend uh, using this current tune if you decide to use one of my tunes for this car. It's very, very good. Uh, I went back and used the semi-slick racing tires. I'm kind of trying to get shy away from uh, the full racing slick racing tires. I just don't think they're that great. Uh, I'd rather use the semi-slicks. I think they do just a little bit better. And you can use those extra points you uh, <clears throat> you have left over for engine upgrades and that sort of thing. I did my usual thing. Uh, if I do have front and rear aero, uh, I'd, I like to have the front tuned all the way to max downforce, the rear tuned all the way to minimum downforce. It does kind of make braking a little finicky. You'll see in the in the first really sharp turn here in the first race, unless I have it covered up by the share code and all that stuff but I, I did have a bit of a hiccup there with the with the braking and then end up getting an ai next to me and he kind of knocked me to the wall a little bit but once that was out of the way it was a very smooth ride in both races uh you just kind of need to be mindful of the really really sharp braking points kind of be a little, a little uh, conservative i would say on the brakes and uh don't fly into the wall you might need to tap the e-brake just a touch at the end of the stop there just kind of get you get yourself rotated and point in the right direction but this car is very good. It handles really well. It's definitely fast enough for this event. There's a good balance between handling and speed. And I think if you use it, you will uh, be successful in this event. Uh, nobody on my team is even really close to me at all. Uh, I don't know if the car was really that good. If the team, I was, the, my teammates weren't that good. It, it might be a little both. But a very fun event nonetheless. I'm glad we have American Automotive. We get to use more cars that I like. Uh, not really cars I'm not used to. I probably have a better shot of using cars I'm used to is probably the best way to word that. I'm excited for it. They added some new races and stuff as well for this update as both the f uh, first two sprint races in this event are new races. Uh, I recommend practicing beforehand. It might help you out a little bit. I'm glad to see they're still updating this game and adding content uh, with the new motorsport game coming out. I know it's two separate game studios but I'm, I'm still glad that we're getting updates to it. Kind of trying to keep it fresh as much as they can I guess. Um, I believe there are some other things added, like some new rims and that sort of thing added as well. Uh, also, full disclaimer, I was going to use the the Mach-E Mustang, uh, but I, I went against it. I wanted to use something with a Ford V8, because I think in racing, if you can have a Ford V8 as an option, there's nothing better in my opinion, so I wanted to just got to go with a car I was familiar with in the GT500. It's one I really, really liked in Horizon 4, and I do like it in this game as well. I was able to kind of overhaul existing tunes for it and make it competitive. If you win and get a Camaro ZL1 1 Ali, I believe, I won't be using that, but I know a lot of people will be glad to have that if they don't already have it. If you haven't already, leave a like on this video. It really helps me out. Subscribe if you want more trial videos like this. I plan on doing these every week unless it's a stock showdown, which is kind of defeating the purpose of uh, making a tuning video. You can't really do a whole lot to those most of the time. But leave a comment down below. Let me know how you feel about this update, how you feel about this trial event and the series and everything that comes with it. Uh, let me know what car you decide to use and all that stuff. Get all these challenges done. Try these new races out, and I'll see you next week for another trial event.